All right, guys, guess what time it is? Somebody wants to be the star of the show, but we officially changed my backdrop. So that's what you guys see right here. If you guys actually wanna see how I changed this, well then head over to my Florida Life channel because I show everything. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about, oh, this is my eyeshadow palette collection right here. Now this is not my entire eyeshadow palette collection because I do have eyeshadows in here. I have eyeshadows in here and we have eyeshadows in there. So last time I did an eyeshadow palette declutter was in December. And I told you guys that I'd be doing a declutter every six months. We're kind of past that point now because I did get delayed, but we're gonna go through my entire eyeshadow palette collection. Last time I checked, I had over 400 palettes because I did declutter hundred back in December. So we might be back up to 500. I'm not entirely sure, but this is gonna be a very long video because I'm not gonna condense it down to two videos. It's just gonna be one long video where I show you guys every single palette and I tell you guys if or if I'm not gonna keep it. I'm not gonna bother swatching anything because that's too much to swatch i mean like literally that's way too much to swatch but i'm still gonna show you guys everything that i have and show you guys what the inside looks like and i'm gonna tell you guys whether or not we're gonna keep it or we're gonna declutter it so, so grab a snack grab a drink it's gonna be a long one All right, guys. So as you guys can see, I do store all of my eyeshadows in these shoebox containers. You guys can actually find these containers over at the container store. I always get asked where you guys can find them. So these are the shoe containers and these are like these sweater containers that you guys see right here. Everything can be found at the container store, but I will link them down below just in case you guys do want to pick up these containers. They're so easy to store all your makeup products. Now I am doing a massive declutter. I do have a whole box of makeup that I am decluttering. I'm I'm donating i'm giving away to friends and i'm also selling on my makari with like mystery boxes i will let you guys know when that makari link goes live they're not live yet because i'm going to curate mystery boxes for you guys so i just want to kind of show you guys what we're working with but please 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 do not be that person that asks for this makeup that's just weird don't be that person um because i do like to give back whenever i can donate sell give away so just just don't be that person so let me go ahead and set the camera up for you guys we're gonna go over everything and let's get this started okay so we're gonna go ahead and get this declutter started you know i just realized though i never did like a proper intro i wasn't like hey guys welcome back to my channel so i apologize if you're new here um yeah i just didn't do a proper intro but i feel like that's what you guys are not here for you guys are here for <laughs> this right here so we're gonna go ahead and start in this drawer right over here i'm gonna pull everything out and kind of show it in front of the camera as we work through each drawer so i'm going to pull this one out so up first, we do have this palette from Odin's Eye. This is the Stone and Rock palette from Odin's Eye. I am absolutely not gonna be decluttering this. I absolutely love Odin's Eye so much. This is such a phenomenal, phenomenal palette. And if you guys do wanna pick anything up from Odin's Eye, you guys can use my code, which will save you guys 10% off. It is an affiliate code, so I do make a small little kickback whenever you guys use it, but it's a great way to save you guys some coin and support me at the same time, but never feel obligated to do so. But I absolutely love this palette, so we're gonna hold on to this one. Next, I have this palette from Artitude Cosmetics. This is their Man Eater Untamed palette. I think this is such a beautiful palette. They literally sold out of this and I think it's gonna be restocking soon. So beautiful. I'm definitely gonna be keeping this because I, it was my first time ever being introduced to this brand and I was thoroughly impressed. So we're gonna hold on to this one. Next, we do have the e.l.f. This is the Denim Days palette right here. You know, I think I'm gonna hold on to this one. I think it's very unique. Um, I really do love the color stories. I love the packaging. I had really good time reviewing this palette, so we're gonna hold on to this one. Up next, I got this palette from Floresis, and oh my God, is she not beautiful. This is such a stunning palette. I have not played with it yet because, well, look at it. It's like so intimidating to play with that I'm just kind of like, <sighs> Oh, I mean, I wouldn't even know what type of look to create with this, honestly, but it's just too pretty to part with. So we're gonna hold on to this, but maybe come December, if I haven't played with it, maybe then we'll start to declutter it. I do another palette from Floresis. Now, I actually did play with this palette right here. This is such a stunning palette. Like, it's mostly shimmers, so it's not the easiest to, like, create a really pretty eye look with. However, because it is mostly shimmers, it's very easy, very clean, very, like, minimalistic makeup look. I had a lot of fun playing with this. The formula was really nice, and I just feel like the concept 
the design. Everything about this is so beautiful, so we're definitely holding on to this one. So we do this little eyeshadow palette from LA Girl. You guys know that I've really been getting into a lot of drugstore makeup recently, and my camera doesn't want to focus, bitch. Okay, so um, this is a really cute palette. I did have fun with this, but we're going to go ahead and actually declutter this one just because I know realistically I won't use this compared to so many of the palettes in my collection, so we're going to go ahead and let's, let this one go. We have a uh, Smoky Soray palette from Dose of Colors. Now, I'm going to hold on to this one, and the only reason I'm going to hold on to this one, and it's the stupidest reason to hold on to because, well, I have so many black shadows in my collection, but this black shadow in particular, I absolutely love. I love using that black shadow to align my upper waterline with so I can match it with my fake lashes and my real lashes, and there's just something about it that I love. And I know I have so many other black shadows in my collection. I understand that. However, I just feel like this is so easy to travel with that this is like what I take with me whenever I go on vacation or if I do anything, like this is what I bring with me, so. We're still gonna hold on to her because she still gets used. Next, we have the Club Nebula palette. This is the Angelica Neat Fix collaboration with Kaleidos. And I actually have not played with this palette. This was actually sent to me by my beautiful friend James. Um, James noticed that I never, sorry, you guys are here long people. I'm so sorry. Um, James noticed I did not have this palette. I never had a chance to play with this. So, this is something we're definitely gonna hold on to so I can play with it. Plus, it is my beautiful friend Angelica Neat Fix's palette. And I love her and I wanna support her. So, I'm definitely gonna hold on to this. So, I'm gonna call myself out because this is the little mini Exxon palette from Natasha Denona. So I decluttered her back in December, but then as I was actually going through and like, you know, donating and putting mystery boxes and um, giving away with friends, I actually grabbed this palette back out because I realized actually I could actually use this for New Year's Eve. And I did, and I've actually played with this several times since. So she made it. Um, she was resurrected from the dead and she's gonna continue to stay because I still really do like this palette. So yeah, I'm glad I saved her. Honestly, I don't even know if this brand is still around. This is by Makeup Maniacs. This is the Boo Thing palette and it's a Halloween palette. And honestly, even though she doesn't get as much love as she used to, I'm still gonna hold on to it just for the mere fact that it is Halloween and I don't really have that many Halloween palettes in my collection. At least I don't really think I do. Um, Halloween is my absolute favorite holiday. So whenever a brand does roll out with a Halloween, palette I do cherish it for as long as I can because I feel like it's so rare for brands to come out with Halloween stuff so we're gonna hold on to this I promise this is a declutter video and I'm just realizing that I'm just pretty much showing you my collection and not decluttering anything so far but I promise things are gonna get decluttered okay so next we have the Lorac palette right here this is the elegance or unzipped elegance palette I bought this because of raw beauty Christie review so long ago so long ago and I still play with this like maybe like once a year but I don't even know if Lorac is still a brand. I never hear anyone talk about this. And I, this palette, I think I've had since like 2018, 2019. I feel like it's time, right? I feel like it's time. That's so sad. I'm sad. If you've been here on my channel um, for a while, you guys will have seen me talk about these donut palettes in particular. These two right here was the first time I ever hit 10,000 views on a video. And that's still very few and far between for me. Like even though I have like 40,000 subscribers, I still like never really hit 10,000 views on a video. And this was the first time I ever did. And I just have such like a special place in my heart for these two donut palettes because they just meant so much to me. They meant the world to my channel. They got me seen, I got subscribers and it just, this kind of like pushed me to that next level and I never use these anymore, like ever. I feel like I should put these, like you guys always say, do like a memory, like a memory box, like a makeup memory box. I think I'm gonna do that because the idea of parting with these palettes, even though they're freaking palettes, it makes me like wanna cry. Like it makes me so upset, the idea of like letting these particular donut palettes go because I have held onto these from my very first apartment when I lived by myself, cause Corey and I were not together, to, you know, getting engaged, to moving in together, to getting married, to having our dogs, to family, a life, a YouTube channel. Like they're, they've are they been with me from the start. And I just, I'm gonna put them in a memory makeup box because the idea of letting them go just, I don't think I can. All right, so now that drawer is empty, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna let them all be empty because we're gonna organize them too because they're like completely not organized and it's driving me crazy. So now we're gonna move on to this drawer right here. Up first, we do have the Teresa is Lethal palette right here. And I love this palette. This was her second palette that she ever rolled out with. This was like the big, hot, older sister to her first Teresa is Dead palette. So we're gonna hold on to this because I'm definitely not gonna part with this one. We have the Lethal is Dead palette. This is the first palette that Teresa ever came out with. So of course, we're gonna hold on to this. Yeah, I definitely feel like this is like a declutter slash like eyeshadow palette collection video because I'm realizing that I'm 
I have issues, obviously. <laughs> so up next, we do have an Ace Butte palette. This is the Envy palette, and I haven't even had a chance to play with this. So we're gonna hold on to this one just because I'd never played with it yet. Look at how beautiful this is. This is stunning. This is something I can definitely feature in like a shop my stash. Um, if you guys ever want to though, you guys can use my code over Ace Butte to save some coin. It is an affiliate code just so you guys know, but uh, yeah, I definitely want to play with this since I haven't played with it yet. So we have an Endangered Cosmetics. This is their Sea Turtle palette, and oh my gosh, I love this palette. I really do love Endangered Cosmetics. They're so beautiful, phenomenal brand. They give back to so many different conservations out there. So we're gonna hold on to this one. I do hope they come back. They haven't released a palette in a hot minute and I, I hope they can make some more stuff. Their stuff was great. We have another um, palette right here from Endangered Cosmetics. This is their Red Panda palette. Love this palette and you guys will see this in the ranking of my fall palette so here we have a chaotic cosmetics this is the retro rainbow hydro palette this is actually a water activated um liner palette i actually never use this but i don't want to declutter it either just in case i ever do want to create anything fun for halloween these are water activated like watercolor so i feel like this could be really beneficial to have if i ever want to do anything like that so that's why i'm not going to let it go because i specifically i specifically don't have anything i do not have anything like this in my collection so we're going to hold on to this next we have a palette from rebel rouge labs this is their howlin for you palette this is another halloween palette definitely going to hold on to this one because i'm still truly obsessed with it we have the ace pute this is the palette opoly game where you can like make like a really fun game using cards to create really fun looks using this palette it's a really beautiful palette i love how colorful it is is, but honestly, I really don't go into this palette as much as I should. And since I do have other Ace Butte palettes that I love more, we're actually gonna go ahead and declutter this one. Y'all, we have our second declutter. Let's go into this drawer. But first we do have our, this is my Odin Eye Cosmetics drawer, so it's all gonna be Odin's, just so you know. But we have our Jules and Jim palette right here. Gonna hold on to this, not letting this one go. It's beautiful. We have the Angelica Neat Fix collaboration. This is the Hella palette, definitely holding on to this. We have our Solomon Volume 2 palette. <sighs> Gorgeous, holding on to it. We have the um, Christmas Eve palette and the Merry Christmas palette. I'm gonna hold on to these two. Um, I absolutely love them, and yeah, <laughs> we are definitely gonna be holding on to these. We have the Norns palette right here. Honestly, she's really cute. We're gonna put this. I think I'm gonna let her go. I think I'm gonna let her go. We have the Alva palette right here. Doesn't want to focus, but um, honestly, it's super pretty. But I think I'm gonna let her go. Another Alva palette right here. Again, very beautiful, but honestly, I think I'm gonna let it go. We have the Saga of Freya palettes right here. And while these are super pretty, I think I'm gonna go ahead and let these go. We have another Saga of Freya palette. Now there's nothing wrong with these palettes. These are probably used one time if and if not just swatched. I really do love Odin's, but I'm trying to be realistic with myself and kind of just know what I really realistically will use and will not and as much as I want to like hoard on to all these for like the hoarder and collector on me I also know realistically I cannot use everything so we're going to go ahead and let this beautiful palette go I think I'm going to hold on to this one though because this one is super pretty definitely more my color scheme so we're going to hold on to this one any of the collab palettes I'm going to hold on to because I really do love the collabs plus I know they're like limited edition so once they're gone they're gone so we're going to hold on to these ones this is the hummingbird palette this is this is the this is by fancy face by judy very beautiful this is the red dragon palette love this one by annette this is the wolves palette Ugh, i'm still so jealous she created this beautiful palette i love it so much are my two palettes that i created with odin's like these are not mine like these are like all the single shadows that they create that they like launched with and these are absolutely stunning i have more but i don't have enough empty containers i have to buy more but yeah we're gonna hold on to these ones love this color story right here this is from um Makeup just for fun, beautiful color story. Of course, I gotta keep my girl Betty Jean. Love her palette. And of course, we have the Laura May, the Lauren May Beauty. This is like the Sea Talk palette. Definitely holding on to this. All right, now we're moving like in the little mini like Alva palettes. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. I am gonna go ahead and declutter this one. This one hasn't even been used. So we're gonna go ahead and declutter this one. Another stunning palette, but again, we're gonna go ahead and declutter. Here we have this beautiful like skewed, skewed palette. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but we're gonna go ahead and let her go. We're gonna hold on to this palette because I really do love this palette. I love the green colors in here, so we're gonna hold to this one but we're gonna go ahead and declutter this palette right here because i have never even used it it's really pretty but i'm gonna let it go not gonna lie guys i never thought i'd see the day where i would declutter any odin's eye palettes i love having a full collection of them but i'm also trying to be realistic with myself if i haven't really used it i just have it here i'd rather go to better home so 
we're gonna have to let them go. All right, so this is kind of all over the place, but we have our Star Wars palette from ColourPop. Y'all know she ain't going nowhere. Another Star Wars palette. Y'all know she ain't going nowhere, especially because it's from ColourPop Star Wars. Say less. <sighs> we have the C3PO palette from ColourPop. Definitely holding on to this one. ColourPop and Alice in Wonderland. Definitely holding on to this. We have um, Darth Vader and the Mandalorian, the Child palette. We're definitely gonna be holding on to these two for sure. We have this beautiful Juvia's Place, the Garden of Juvia's. We're definitely holding on to this. It's a beautiful pastel palette, and I love a good pastel palette. So we're gonna hold on to this. We have the Unearthly Cosmetics collaboration with Heather Austin. This is the Resurgence palette. Definitely holding on to this one. I love her and I love Unearthly. We do have a Galaxy palette from Ofer Cosmetics. You guys can use my code Ali. Save you guys 20% off. It is an affiliate code. Really beautiful purple palette, but we're going to go ahead and let this one go. We have another beautiful palette from Ofra. This is the Symphony palette. Again, very, very, very gorgeous, but I don't really use these colors that much. So we're going to go ahead and let this one go. Those two have not been used. The Galaxy and this one have not been even been used. So we're going to go ahead and pass them along to a better home. Okay. This little beachside palette from Ofra is super cute. I really do love this palette. So we're definitely gonna be holding on to this one because it's so cute and very beachy. Love the little empowered palette from Ofra. Definitely holding on to this one. This one's what kind of started the influencer pan project that I did last year absolutely beautiful. We have this cute little like peachy moment. This is called Getaway and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette, but we're going to go ahead and pass this along because she doesn't get enough love like she should. So I'm going to pass this along. We have this beautiful Luxe palette from Ofra. This is a five pan, like beautiful neutral eye palette. We're definitely going to hold on to this one because I do like to have a little neutral moment. So we're holding on to this one. And of course, y'all, we have to keep my little palette that I created with Ofra. I didn't like really create this. I just kind of put the colors together of what I thought represented me in Florida and stuff like that. This is my little info influencer pan project. This is the Allie Dawson 89 palette with Ofra. And um, yeah, look at my little name. <laughs> so we're definitely gonna be holding on to this one for sure. We do have this Life is a Drag palette by Samantha March. This is her collaboration with Ofra, but I never use this palette. It's purples. You guys know them. I'm not the biggest fan of purples. So we're gonna go ahead and pass this one along. Even though I'm not a big fan of uh, BH Cosmetics, their ice cream collection is super cute. This is the pistachio palette. We gotta hold on to this. Do you have um, Uma Beauty? This is their Black Magic palette. This this is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Definitely hold on to this one. We have a little ABH Cosmos palette. I'm going to hold on to this one because I do love ABH. And while it's not my favorite palette, I just got this. So I'm not ready to part with it yet. We have the Natasha Denona. This is the Yucca palette, but we should really call it the Yucky. <laughs> oh, that made me laugh. The Yucky palette because it did have a really horrible smell. And I still love the color scheme of it though. So we're still going to hold on to it. The smell has definitely dissipated over time because I've been leaving it sitting out. But yeah. We're holding on to this. Here we have a palette from Hot Mess Mama, aka Rhonda. This is her collaboration with Ofra. It's a cute palette, definitely more on the neutral side, but I'm gonna go ahead and pass this along just because it's a little bit too neutral for my taste. You guys know I love pops, so you guys know I'm more into colors and I am neutral, so we're gonna go ahead and pass this one along. This hasn't even been opened. I haven't even used this palette from Revolution. We're gonna have to, so we're gonna hold on to this so I could actually use it for once instead of just leaving it completely sealed. We have a we have a Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Hudson Valley palette. You guys know I'm already holding on to this one. No way that I part with this. It's too beautiful. A subscriber sent me this palette. It's from Ladybug Glow um, Cosmetics. Never really heard of it, but it's called Murky Waters. I'm gonna hold on to this so I could actually try it for once because I haven't had a chance to try it yet. So we're gonna hold on to this one. All right, we have the ColourPop. This is the um, Naruto palette. Definitely holding on to this. Just recently got this. This is the Nightshade palette by Gourmand Girls. This is in collaboration with Doodle by the Bunny. Definitely holding on to this one. We have the Fighter palette. This is from... Um, Fantasy Cosmetica. You guys can use my code Ally. Save you guys 10% off. It is affiliated and definitely holding on to this one. This cute little palette from NYX. I absolutely love this palette. First time playing with like NYX formula in a long time. We're definitely holding on to this one. This beautiful Cala palette from Ace Beauté. Definitely holding on to this one. Another gorgeous palette from Ace Beauté. This is the Flora palette. This reminds me of fall and it's not wanting to zoom in and focus, but definitely holding on to this one. This cute palette. This is from What's Up Beauty. This is the Desert Monsoon palette, but I'm gonna let her go only cause while it's really beautiful, it just isn't getting as much love. So we're gonna go ahead and let her go. We have the Begonia, Begonia palette from Ace Vitae. This part of their flower collection. While it's really pretty, I know realistically, I'm not gonna dip into this one as much. So we're gonna go ahead and let her go. Flora, okay, so this is the Flora palette. <laughs> um, this is a purple palette and while it's really pretty, it's purple, I'm not still the biggest fan of purple palettes. So we're gonna go ahead and let this one go, especially since I do have other purple palettes in my collection, I prefer more. 
we're gonna let this go. My one and only palette from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. This is the Juicy Olive palette. I still love this palette. It's gorgeous. We're holding on to this one. It's a collab with Pure Cosmetics X Raw Beauty Christy. While I definitely am not the biggest fan of like the packaging anymore. <gasps> that shadow is breaking. Do you guys see that? That's breaking. Um, I'm gonna hold on to this one because it is Raw Beauty Christy. And while it's not my favorite, I can't part from it either. We have the Unearthly Cosmetics. This is the Don't Be Jelly palette. Honestly, I haven't had a chance to play with this because I recently just got this. So I didn't have a chance to play with this. So we're definitely holding on to this one. So we have the Switching Hour palette right here. This is by Ailing Cosmetics, which is now known as Unearthly Cosmetics. And I'm always gonna hold on to this one. You guys know how I feel about Halloween palettes. So she's staying. We have this Mel Thompson collab with Sydney Grace. Um, I'm not gonna part with it because unfortunately Mel Thompson is no longer with us, sadly. So we're gonna hold on to this one for sure. I absolutely loved this palette from Gourmand Girls. So this is the Spooked palette in collaborations with Doodle by the Bunny. We are definitely holding on to this one. I got, I love a good Halloween palette. We have this beautiful um, coastal palette from Alter Ego. You guys can use Dawson 10 to save you guys 10% off. It is an affiliate code. Um, I think I'm gonna put this to the side because I'm gonna decide between this one or Huda Beauty. So I'm gonna put this one to the side because I think I might declutter this one. There's some Ultra Eagle palettes that I have that I don't have like their dupe palette for. So we're gonna put this one to the side. We have another Alien Cosmetics, AKA <laughs> Unearthly Cosmetics. This is the Not Normal palette definitely holding on to this one. I have this beautiful like rainbow palette slash tie-dye palette from Hank and Henry, but honestly, I never really use this palette. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this one along. We have these, this chaotic cosmetics. This is the dreadful palette right here. This is a Halloween palette. Definitely holding on to this one. We have, even though it doesn't look like it, this is a Halloween palette from chaotic cosmetics. This is the brainwash palette right here. Definitely holding on to this one. We have the Juvia's place. This is the Wahala two palette, but honestly, I never really use this one. So we're going to go ahead and declutter this one. We have the um, elf collaboration with chipotle and oh my god y'all i miss chipotle i used to eat it once a week and since my tooth i haven't been able to eat it but i'm hoping this week i can start again and let's just say i'm holding on this one because it's just still it's so iconic we have the bh sweep shop collection this is going to be the cherry palette and again i'm going to hold on to this one i have to hold on to these ones because they're too iconic to let go even though i'm a big fan of the company the formula speaks for itself and they were just they were just a fun collection this is one of my favorites this is the orange sorbet palette and oh my gosh y'all I still love this palette. It is just way too pretty. Here is the blue uh, bubblegum one right here, the bubblegum shop. Oh my gosh, is that not so pretty? Love this one from BH though. This is the sugar cone. This is a beautiful like neutral eyeshadow palette. Like, come on, that is just way too pretty. And then we have the cotton candy one. This is the last one and part of the ice cream collection with BH and again, so freaking beautiful. No, how is this? No, no, that palette's breaking. Oh, this is the droid palette. The Druid palette from Fantasy Cosmetica and that shade over there is breaking. I don't know how that's happening. That's so sad. We're definitely holding to this one, but man, that's so sad. What is happening? Are you kidding me right now? Are you freaking serious? Y'all, I don't know what's happening, but I, I literally, they just sit in my collection. Nothing happens, but yet my shades are breaking. What the heck? So, so far, this hasn't broken, but I don't really know what's happening, why those palettes are breaking. Well, I don't know why they're breaking, y'all. They just kind of sit in my collection. I don't mistreat them. I don't do anything. They just sit there. Yeah, somehow these are breaking. So I'm going to reach out to the company and kind of let them know that over time my shadows are breaking. <laughs> I don't need a new palette, but I'm just going to let them know, like, hey, because that shouldn't be happening, and that's really sad, but we're still going to hold on to it. Oh my God, I love this palette. This is from Shroud Cosmetics and Batty Bean. Love this palette. Definitely holding on to this one. Oh no! Oh, this is happening too what is happening i don't know see this is why i gotta do my declutters because look at that like some of these shadows are breaking i don't know if it's because they just sit in the collection or they're being pushed it's too tightly jammed in there i don't know but it's making me sad and we're definitely holding to this one this is the it's freaking bats with batty bean and shroud and it's just oh i love this palette Next, we have the Game Beauty. This is the Phantom Thieves makeup palette right here. She's super cute, but I don't really know the reference or the concept. So we're gonna go ahead and let her go just because I know realistically, I'm not gonna really use this. We have the Nomad Cosmetics Royal Euro palette. Definitely holding on to this one. We have the Metaverse palette. Again, another Persona, another Game Beauty X Phantom Thieves, but we're gonna go ahead and let her go. We have a Nomad Fire and Ice. First palette I ever got from them. Definitely saving this one. We have the Nomad. This is like the France palette. We're definitely gonna save this one. We have the Nomad. This is like the Paradise Island palette. Definitely gonna hold on to this one. We have the Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Cloud Forest palette. And this shade right here, Cloudy Canopy, looks like it's cracking. <sighs> 
Y'all, I'm getting upset. I don't know what's happening. We have the Love and Death palette. We have the Love and Death palette from Nomad, and I'm definitely saving this one. We have the Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Haunted Europe palette, and definitely going to be saving this one. I mean, like, just look at this right here. Like, so pretty. We have this really cute Nomad palette right here. I honestly can't pronounce what it's called, but all I know is super cute and I'm gonna hold on to it. We have the Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Snow Lodge palette, definitely saving this. We have the Nomad Cosmetics. This is the America palette right here and I love this palette, I think it's beautiful. We have the Ultra Ego. This is the Luster palette right here. It's a really beautiful like neutral eyeshadow palette, but honestly, I'm probably gonna let this one go because I just, I have these shades in other palettes and I just don't give this one as much love. So we're gonna go ahead and pass this one along. The Alter Ego, this is the Aurora palette. This is so pretty. We're definitely gonna save this one because it's too pretty to let go. We have the Alter Ego. This is the Canon palette right here. And I think this is like a, a mix of like the Natasha Denona like bronze palette, which I don't have. So we're definitely gonna save onto this. We're definitely gonna hold onto this one because I think it's so pretty. So we're gonna save this. We have the Alter Ego. This is the Midsummer palette right here for the ABH Novu palette, but I know I'm gonna keep that palette. So we're gonna go ahead and let this one go because it's so pretty, but I already have that palette. We have the Game Beauty. This is the Harbinger palette. We are definitely going to save this one because it's too cute and I love the I love the concept and the design. Same with the Game Beauty. This is the Victory palette right here. Again, another gorgeous, gorgeous palette. So saving this one. Next, we have like this Cyber palette from Game Beauty. Honestly, I thought the quality of this was <laughs> not good. Um, I couldn't get really to work for me at all. So I think we're gonna go ahead and let her go. It's a really cool concept. I love it, but the Cyberpunk palette just honestly didn't work for me. So we're gonna go ahead and well, we're gonna declutter this one. We have the cute little fantasy palette from Game Beauty and we're definitely going to hold on to this one. Then we have the Game Beauty. This is the Adventure palette. You know, what I really do like about this palette. They have that press glitter right there. They heard the con they heard the consumerism and how we hated the press glitter. So they took those out of their palettes, which I do really appreciate the brand listening to us. So we're gonna go ahead and save this one right here. Now I um, am realizing how long this video is actually gonna be. So what I'm gonna do, since I went ahead and I took all those ones out, I'm gonna now take a moment to reorganize them because I literally have palettes surrounding me and it's getting pretty hard to move. And I'm running out of space to put my keep and my declutter. So I'm gonna go ahead and organize these ones off camera. I'll come back at the end of the video and show you guys what they look like now so you guys can see what they look like because I just feel like this video will be too long if I showed the organization process as well I'd rather show you guys the palettes and tell you guys why I am or am not keeping them So I'm gonna quickly um, just organize these off camera. We're gonna come back to work on the shelves We're gonna come back to work on the other ones down below plus our drawers. So I'll be back. So these drawers are organized and I have one empty drawer that gets me so excited, which means we're making some progress. Now we're gonna move on to these drawers right here. Like I said, I'll show you guys the organization at the very end. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out this drawer right here and we're gonna continue on with the collection slash declutter video. Okay, so up first, we do have my Urban Decay slash Game of Thrones palette. I absolutely love this palette, so I'm not gonna declutter it. Even though like I don't really ever use it anymore, I feel like it's definitely a collector's keep because they didn't make this anymore. It was viral, it sold out like crazy, and yeah, I'm gonna hold on to this one. I have this Urban Decay Wild Greens palette. Um, I'm not gonna use this, so we're gonna go ahead and declutter this one. Up next, we do have the Urban Decay. This is the Naked Honey palette, and oh my God, I still love this palette. I think it's really, really beautiful and it doesn't want to focus. This was like the first time that Urban Decay rolled out with like a really good formula in my opinion. I didn't really care for like the other naked collections like one, two, three, cherry, heat. I just wasn't a fan, but this one I actually generally really did love. So we're still gonna hold on to this one. I don't even know if they make this anymore. This is the Naked Cyber palette right here and it's really, really, really beautiful. I only had a chance to play with it like one or two times and um, I'm sorry, my camera doesn't wanna focus. Jesus. <laughs> um, it's really pretty. I'm gonna hold on to this one because I didn't get to show it as much off as I want to and I wanna play with it more, but if I don't use it by December, we'll have to part ways. Here is the Naked Wild West palette and I absolutely love, I absolutely love this palette. So we're still gonna hold on to this one. I still have the brush. I just take it out so it doesn't fall out when I open the palette, but still love this palette. All, up next is all my Milk Cosmetics palettes and I have a love-hate relationship with this brand. Some of their palettes I absolutely loved, other palettes I absolutely hated. So we're gonna kind of, uh, this is gonna be a hard one for me. So let's just get this started. First, we have the Beetlejuice collection with Melt Cosmetics. I really do love the concept and color scheme of this one. So I'm gonna hold on to this one. Plus this was super limited edition. I don't even know if they still have this anymore. Um, we're definitely gonna hold on to this one, at least for sure. 
see, now this one is definitely not a color scheme for me. I, I, I just don't do color schemes like this, honestly. Um, I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. We're going to come back to this at the end of the video because I don't know. Like the hoarder in me doesn't want to let it go, right? Because like obviously I have a whole collection. I don't want to let go of any of my melt palettes, but I also need to be realistic with myself. So we're going to put this one towards like to the side. We'll come back to it at the end of the video. We have this really pretty melt palette right here. Um, oh my gosh, it's also super heavy. I, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. I'm gonna let it go. Yep, I'm letting it go. Okay, so we do have this Urban Decay collaboration with like marbles. This is like the Eternals collection. It's like super cute. Um, but I'm gonna let this one go. It's gonna go to Better Home. Here is my Melt. This is the Electric Trip palette. I did not like this palette. I thought it was um, not good. I didn't care for the formula. Um, didn't care for the packaging. Just really wasn't a big fan of this. So we're gonna put this on the can't decide because again this is just where I'm battling myself in terms of like having a full collection or like letting things go so this is gonna be put off to the side for now there is another melt this is like the impulse palette this thing is absolutely heavy again this is one of those palettes I'm gonna put off to the side to decide at the end of the video we're gonna let her go here is my Mary Jane palette we're gonna let her go I loved this palette with Milk Cosmetics. This is their Rustic palette. I'm actually going to hold on to this one because I still love this palette. So we're going to hold on to this. This is the 27 palette from Melt. Um, we're going to let her go. This is kind of sad. If I'm quiet, it's because I'm sad. It's because I've had these for so long. And you guys know I'm such a big collector. And um, obviously, I'm very proud of my collection. I paid for 99% of the makeup that you guys see in here. And letting something go is just making me like really, really sad. But I know like... I know I need to. Like in 10 years, I'm not going to be using this. You know what I mean? Here are the Day of the Dead palettes from Melt Cosmetics. Oh, I'm not letting these ones go. I love these ones too much. So we're going to hold on to these. I still love this palette. This is the 24. This is the 420 palette. This is the 420 palette from Melt. I'm still going to hold on to these ones. I love this one so much. But I am making sure I check all my Melt palettes because when Teresa did her declutter, she found some mold in her palettes. And that got me kind of worried. <laughs> so we're still going to hold on to this one because um, I still love it. Here is the Gemini 2 palette. And I, like I said, I've been expecting these, making sure that they're all okay. Um, this is just a piece of paper right here, in just case anyone's knows piece of paper, but mine still look okay. So um, we're still holding on to this one. My very first Melt Cosmetics palette. This is the Gemini palette right here. This is Gemini palette right here. is my very first Melt Cosmetics palette. And uh, yeah, we're still gonna hold on to her. She's still, she's still loved. Got this in a mystery box and it came like that. <laughs> That shade came broken, so we're gonna go ahead and declutter this one, cause, uh, yeah. <laughs> As you can see, this is the Smoke Session palette. This one was well-loved, and whenever I look at it, I have such fond memories. Like, I have memories attached to these palettes of reviews that I've done in the past, and so it's, like, harder for me to let it go, but I'm definitely not letting this one go. I still cherish it, so we're saving this one. This is my Radioactive palette with Melt. Definitely gonna be saving this one for sure. I'm, like, thoroughly inspecting the palettes now because I'm scared. Those little dots right there, I those are just from the shade Skylight, so we should be fine. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna hold on to this one still. We have a Makeup Revolution, like Game of Thrones palette that Heather sent my way. We're definitely decluttering this. We have the Blend Bunny Cosmetics. This is the, um, Sugar and Grunge palette. We are definitely saving any Blend Bunny Cosmetics palette. I'm not getting rid of. So I'm gonna tell you that right, guys. That right now, I, I love them too much. And you guys can use code Ally save ten percent off. It is affiliated. We have the Lore palette by Blend Bunny Cosmetics. My God, she's beautiful. We have a Rogue palette. This is from Fantasy Cosmetica, and I'm definitely keeping this one. It's too pretty to let go. We have this beautiful Goddess palette from Alter Ego. I'm definitely saving this. It's a dupe of a Natasha Denona palette that I don't have, so we are definitely holding onto this one. By far, my favorite palette from Ace Beauté. This is the Tropical Vibes palette, and oh my gosh, she is so beautiful. Definitely my type of palette, so we're definitely holding onto this one. We have the Wilderness palette by Beauty Bay. This is definitely my color palette, and we're gonna hold onto this one, although she's starting to break just a little bit. We have this beautiful Book of Magic palette from Beauty Bay. This is so beautiful. Definitely holding on to this one for sure. We have this really beautiful Sunset Horizons palette from Beauty Bay, but unfortunately, I just haven't had a chance to really play with this one this much. And I know myself, I'm not really going to. I'd only play with like these six corners right here. Everything else I would not play for. So we're going to go ahead and pass this along. I'm going to declutter this one. 
This is the Made by Mitchell collaboration with Beauty Bay. I'm always going to hold on to this one because my beautiful, amazing friend Mikey sent this to me. And this is what started our beautiful friendship like for four years now. And uh, yeah, I'm going to always hold on to this. I have this palette here from um, Adept, Adept Cosmetics, but I have not played with it yet. I love the shimmers in it, but I don't care for the mattes. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna put this in though. We're going to come back to the end of the video because I don't want to like part from it because it was so expensive but same time i'm not really a big fan of the color scheme i think i got this like in a mystery box actually i feel like that's why it's even in here but oh yeah it was a mystery box exclusive we're gonna come back to this now this one from adept cosmetics this is like their like um oh what do you call it that one movie one show arrow or something like that i've never seen it but this is like what was inspired by it we're definitely gonna be holding on this one it is too beautiful to let go Oh, we have a little trail palette from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. Y'all already know I'm holding on to this one. We have this cute little Pat McGrath. This is like a Celestial Nirvana palette. I swatched like some of the shades right here. Like those are some of the swatches. It's like a palette of all shimmers. You guys know I don't use a lot of shimmers. So I really think it's pretty, but I'm gonna let this one go. I'm gonna let her go. I believe I'm saying this, but here is the Pat McGrath Star Wars palette. Like legit is the Rise of the Skywalker. I'm going to set this to the side because I don't know what I want to do with it. Like I want to keep it, but then like realistically, I know I'm not going to really use it. I know it could go in like the makeup memory box, but we'll come back to this one. Same with this palette right here, the Rise of Skywalker. Again, we're going to come back to this one because, because I don't, I don't really know what I want to do with it. So we're going to come back to this one. Now this one I want to keep. This one is really pretty. Definitely love the colors in this one. This is another Rise of Skywalker collection, Pat McGrath. So we're going to hold on to this one. Beautiful mossy green palette from Dosa Colors. This is in the, this is the palette called Cutting Edge. Cutting Edge. I don't know what that was, but yes, we're going to hold on to this one. Here is my Be Perfect Cosmetics. This is the Carnival Interstellar Palette from Stacey Marie. Definitely holding on to this one. It is just too beautiful, and I love these style palettes. And oh my god, look, I have a shade called Alien. What are the odds, huh? Look at that. Look at that. We have the Be Perfect Carnival, the Antidote Palette. Again, this is another collaboration with Stacey Marie. We are definitely holding on to her. The Blend Bunny Cosmetics Primal Palette. Unfortunately, this palette got discontinued. I don't really know why it got discontinued, but we are definitely keeping her. Dollhouse, we are keeping surge we are surge we are definitely keeping my og blends palette yes we are keeping this one and the all dolled up palette of course we are absolutely keeping this one as well this is the danessa myrick's lightworks volume 4 palette i think it's called volume 4 we're definitely holding on to her she's too beautiful to let go okay so right there are my two color prop drawers and i have never ever ever decluttered any color pop palettes there's a good chance I will today. Um, I feel like it's necessary, but I've never done it before, so it'll probably be harder. So we're going to actually move down to these drawers right down there. And it's harder for you guys to see because my camera doesn't want to go that far. We're going to actually go through those through those four drawers first before we do the ColourPop. That's, ColourPop will be saved for last. Okay, so up first we do have the Too Faced. This is the Italian Spritz palette. I'm going to hold on to this one because I really do enjoy this palette. I had a great time playing with it, creating looks, so we're going to hold on to this one. Next, we have the Too Faced. This is the Sunset Stripped Palette. It's really pretty. It's really pretty, but I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go. It's also really like heavily fragranced and like perfume, and it's just a little overwhelming, but we're gonna let her go. We have, next we have the Too Faced. This is the Pumpkin Spice Palette. It's like my only pumpkin spice, anything like food related with Too Faced. We're definitely gonna hold on to this one. I had a lot of fun with this one, and I still really love it. Okay, but this, uh, this tart. Man Eater palette, man, it was so good. I still really love this palette. We're still holding on to this one. We have a Too Faced Better Than Chocolate palette. I've actually never used this palette, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass this one along. Next, we have the Sigma palette from this. Next, we have the Sigma. Um, next, we have the Sigma Cinderella palette. It's pretty, but I just personally was not a fan of this one, so we're gonna go ahead and pass this one along. Next, we have my ABH. This is the Riviera palette right here. And um, we're gonna hold on to this. We have the ABH collaboration with Jackie, 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 Jackie. I fucking, I absolutely love Jackie Ina. I wish she would do more YouTube videos, but here is her palette. I don't know why my camera won't focus. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Very beautiful palette. Definitely hold on to this. Here we have the ABH. This is the Norvina collection. This is volume three. I think I'm gonna still hold on to this one because these are all colors I can definitely still use. So we're gonna hold on to her. 
No, I just opened it. One of my shadows are broken. Okay, I have to be careful because this shadow right here, this very first one, what actually opened up pretty broken. This is the volume four palette right here. I never use this palette, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. But that one shadow up there is broken. I don't know what happened because she's never really been used. So I don't know why it's breaking. Next, we do have the ABH Narvina Volume 1 palette. Again, I don't ever use this palette, so we're actually gonna declutter her and she's not broken, so that's good. I don't know what happened to the other one. That, that one shade just came in broken, but I'm gonna press it back together pretty tightly, see if I can salvage it before I declutter it along. We have the ABH. We have the ABH Amarizi palette right here. Again, this is a really good one. I'm gonna hold on to these ones. I think the smaller ones I'm gonna hold on to because I have very special memories with them. But like the bigger Nor Norina palettes, like they're still like in fantastic condition. Mine is that one. We'll just like let go. Even though she is definitely not my favorite anymore, um, this is actually my first palette that I came back to YouTube with. So I'm definitely gonna hold on to this one. We have the ABH Carly Bible palette. Definitely holding on to this. We have the ABH. This is the, sub the subculture palette. Um, I'm gonna hold on to it. I don't hate it. <laughs> Next we have the ABH. This is the Soft Glam palette and this is a classic. Definitely holding on to this one. Next we have the ABH Norvina palette right here. Again, this is another like um staple. Again, this is another beautiful palette. We're holding on to this one. And we have this really beautiful palette. This is the Novu palette from ABH. I love this one. We're definitely holding on to this one. So what I'm gonna do is just like I did before, I'm gonna quickly organize those two drawers. Then we're gonna move down to the bottom four, then the color pop, and that's gonna pretty much wrap up this video. Again, this is gonna be so long. Um, grab a snack now, take a break, because this is, like I said, it's gonna be a long video. Alrighty, so I took like a <laughs> two hour break because I actually had work I had to do for my job. So now we're gonna go back into the declutter. Like I said, we are kind of down to, um, those right there and now we are going to do this last drawer down there and then we're going to do that bottom one and then the color pop and then i'm going to show you guys what we have left and i'll also tell you guys what how many palettes i decluttered and what i kept so let's keep going so first we do have the beauty bay this is the earthly palette right here i absolutely love this palette so i'm definitely not going to be decluttering this one same with this beauty bay palette right here this is another earthly palette this is just the bigger version we're definitely going to be holding on to this we do have the be perfect cosmetics this is the love tahiti stacy marie palette <laughs> we are definitely holding on to this one this was the first pat mcgrath palette i ever owned my sister actually got this for me for christmas you know, I don't know if I'll ever use it again, but I'm gonna put this aside and we'll come back to this at the end of the video so I can really decide what to do with it. This is the Colored Rain Queen B palette. I absolutely love this palette. We are not getting rid of this one. It's one of my favorites. We have the Makeup by Mario. This is the Ethereal palette right here. And um, yeah, I love this palette. It's super cute, really beautiful, everyday neutral palette. Definitely gonna hold on to this one. Up next, we do have the Pat McGrath. This is their Bridgington or Bridgington. Bridging Bridgerton <laughs> volume two. My husband gets so mad the way I say he says I always say it wrong, but I don't mean to. I'm gonna hold on to this one because it is limited edition. Same with this palette because it was limited edition, so we're gonna hold on to the first one as well. Here are three like Pat McGrath Star Wars palettes. Um, I'm gonna put these to the side to figure out what to do with them because I don't know what to do with them. So we'll figure this out at the end. Here's the Pat McGrath Mothership palette. I'm still gonna hold on to this one because they are pretty, I'm not gonna lie, and they cost me a fortune. Definitely keeping the Natasha Denona retro palette. Keeping the retro, keeping the retro palette because, well, keeping the retro palette, she was decluttered, but she was resurrected. Surprise. Keeping the Natasha Denona, this is my dream palette, so pretty. Definitely keeping the Natasha Denona retro palette. I mean, definitely keeping the, Den the Natasha Denona retro palette. Wait, are they all called retro? We have the Natasha Denona Love palette holding on to her. Definitely holding on to the Zendo palette. The beautiful Triochrome we have to keep. Okay, but these Glam Face palettes, my God, are they beautiful? Yes, yes, yes. And this is the Glam Face palette right here, another beautiful one. I feel like I keep calling them all the same names. I'm kind of confusing myself, but we're definitely keeping this. Are called the same, just something different. Here's the Glam Face palette. Um, this is the deeper palette, and yes, I'm still keeping this. We have the beautiful Sunset palette, definitely holding on to this. Uh, I so badly wanted this Naughty palette from Huda Beauty, and I still love it. This is definitely a keep. We have the Huda Beauty. This is the Mercury Retrograde palette, and I'm not getting rid of this. It's too pretty. I think I'm gonna keep, honestly, all of my Huda Beauty palettes. I don't think I'll ever part from them. Still a classic. This is the Rose Quartz. I think I'm gonna get rid of the Ultra Ego one since I do have this one, and I just, God, I love this one. We have the Rose Quartz Remastered. Definitely keeping. 
We have the Desert Dust Palette. Yes, I'm absolutely keeping this one. My gosh, we have this gorgeous Empowered Palette. I absolutely love this palette, especially for the holiday season coming up. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Here we have the Mothership. This is the Moonlight Seduction Palette. Yes, definitely keeping this one. We have the Celestial Divinity Palette from Pat McGrath, definitely keeping. Same with the Celestial Odyssey Palette, definitely keeping this one as well. So I gotta empty out my camera because I ran out of room. And when we come back, we have um, these drawers down here. We have those two followed by these two, but I'm gonna go ahead and organize all of these. We're gonna come back and we're gonna finish this up. This, like I said, this is a long video. Alrighty, to continue on with the declutter series. So we have my very bottom drawer. I'm gonna start to go through these rather quickly because these are palettes that I'm really not gonna depart too much from because they're like P. Louise and stuff like that. But up first, we do have my P. Louise. This is the Stackham series. And I absolutely love P. Louise and the formula, really, really pretty palettes. So we're gonna be holding on to these ones. Look at how pretty that is. So pretty, like so pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Again, I love this little series from P. Louise. This is actually gifted to me by an amazing friend of mine. Her name is Heather and she's a wonderful subscriber and she was very sweet and sent me these ones. Although this one I did pay for myself and I have to say it's so pretty. Like, oh, it's like one of those perfect fall palettes. I am just, oh my God, I'm so in love with this one. So freaking pretty this is the take the risk or lose the chance palette again another beautiful palette from p louise love 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 this one this is the invest in yourself babe i am here is the big money shot palette again i'm gonna hold on to this one like look at how gorgeous these are this is the worldy palette from P. Louise, and again, definitely gonna be holding on to this one. Plus, look at how cute the packaging was, and Mikey got this for me for my birthday one year. Gorgeous, gorgeous palette. This is the All the Signs palette, and you guys will definitely see this in my ranking of my fall palettes, because, ah, <sighs> beautiful. Next, we have the Morphe collaboration with James Charles, but honestly, I only ever kept it because of like it being like a rainbow palette, but since I have so many other colorful rainbow palettes like this, I think it's time that we we let this one go. She can go. This is a Morphe collaboration with Disney. This is actually gifted to me by a subscriber, but honestly, I'm never going to really use it. I think it's really pretty. It's like a nice little Disney-esque vibe to it, but I think I'm just going to, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and pass this along. Let it go to a better home. Next, we have the Morphe 35 like icy palette, but I never really used this palette. I only kept it because it was pastel, but I definitely have better pastels in my collection, so we're gonna go ahead and pass this along. Next, we do have the Jaclyn collaboration with Morphe. This is the volume two. I love Jaclyn, so I'm gonna hold on to this one. And this is the first Jaclyn palette with Morphe. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really think she's cute. Um, I think at first I did, but I definitely have evolved my taste over time. Not as cute as it once was, but I'm still gonna hold on to it because, well, memories and it's Jaclyn and yeah, I'm gonna hold on to it. Here we have the Volt collection with Jaclyn. This is the Ring the Alarm palette and mine looks okay. I know there was like some mold issue, but I'm gonna hold on to this one. Here we have the Ring the Alarm palette or here we have the Dark Magic palette. Again, no issues with this one. So we're gonna hold on to this one. I'm sorry, that's my dog Kaya barking. I'm so sorry. Here we have the Bling Block, Bling Paws from Jacqueline. And I'm gonna hold on to this one, sorry. Now I will say this was actually one of my favorites from Jacqueline. This is the Armed and Gorgeous and this is still really beautiful and it kind of reminds me of fall actually. Here we have the Patrick Ta palette right here. This is the Major Dimensions Volume 1. I waited forever to get this palette. I'm definitely not decluttering it. And this is the Major Dimension Volume 2 palette. Again, we are definitely holding on to this one. All right, moving on to the next drawer. Up first, we do have the Amulet palette from Adept Cosmetics. Absolutely love their formula. Gonna, gonna definitely hold on to this. Oh my gosh, the Heather Austin palette was definitely one of my favorites. We were absolutely holding on to this. Ooh, this pretty baby right here. She cost me. She was expensive, but it is like all foils. Very beautiful palette from Adept. Definitely holding on to this. Next, we have all the Dominique Cosmetics palettes. I'm not gonna declutter any of them because they actually don't make them anymore. They are completely discontinued minus one palette. So I'm gonna show you guys which ones they still have and which ones they don't. So they still have the Moment palette right here, which you guys can use code Allie, save you guys 10% off at Dominique Cosmetics. I absolutely do love this palette. I got this last summer. Definitely holding on to this. This is one of the few palettes they still have left on their website. Shit. <laughs> we have a Jaclyn Cosmetics. We have a Jaclyn Hill collaboration with Morphe. I'm gonna hold on to this one. It's a beautiful neutral palette and I really enjoyed it last year. So we're gonna hold on to this. Next, we have the Dominique Cosmetics. This is the Latte 2 palette. This was discontinued, so they no longer have this palette. So I'm absolutely holding on to this. I loved this palette so much. It's so beautiful. 
This is the Essential Palette from Dominique Cosmetics. You guys can still find this in stock. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna get rid of this one. My OG palette. This is the Latte Palette. I don't know how well it comes off on camera, but this thing is so dirty because this is the first palette I have ever used. Review everything. Definitely gonna be holding on to this. It's a classic. We have the Lemonade Palette from Dominique Cosmetics. Definitely holding on to this. We have the Curl Blossom Palette from Dominique Cosmetics. It's such a beautiful palette, but unfortunately it's discontinued. We have the Berry and cream palette super cute but discontinued this was one of my favorites from Dominique Cosmetics. This is the Celestio Storm Palette. Again, they no longer have this palette, but it was one of my favorites. It's super pretty. Here we have the Rustic Glam Palette. Again, they don't have this anymore. I don't know why they discontinued them. They're so pretty. Like you think they would still have them. Cute little sweater weather moment. This was, a, I think, a collab with Ipsy. Like this is like an Ipsy box. Um, definitely not my favorite, but we gotta hold on to it for sure. This is the Transition Palette. This is an all matte palette meant for like transition shades. You guys can still find this on the Dominique Cosmetics website, but I'm still gonna hold on to it. We have the mini little Unconditional Love Palette. This is still found on the Dominique Cosmetics website. I really do hate how they use pressed glitters. The palette would be so much better if that was just a shimmer, but she's still cute. Honestly, I don't remember what this palette's called. Never, now or never. I, I think that's what it's called. I honestly don't know, but they did dis discontinue this. And again, I was not a fan of the press glitter, but I'm still gonna have it. This is the only Kylie Cosmetics palette that I own, and I'm definitely gonna hold on to it because it's just so unique. I really enjoyed this palette. And um, yeah, the formula was great. Packaging was great. It was a fun time playing with this. So we're gonna hold on to this. I have these two palettes from ColourPop that I picked up at Target. So I never even had a chance to play with them yet. So we're definitely gonna hold on to these two. I just got this in a ColourPop mystery box. So we're gonna hold on to this. This is the, I think, um, Jewel Play, oh, Je Play Jewel palette. We're gonna hold on to this one. I absolutely loved this palette. This is an Essence palette in collaboration with like Disney the Lion King. We are definitely holding on to this one. It's definitely a fun palette to play with. This is Catrice the Jungle Book palette, but I know me, I'm not gonna go into it as often as I want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this. Just like I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. This one still has the film completely wrapped around it. I didn't even get a chance to like open or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass this along to Better Home. All right guys, we're officially moving on to that ColourPop two drawers you guys see right there. I'm gonna quickly count to see how many ColourPop palettes I have, and then we're gonna go through them. Okay, so I just counted and I have 128 ColourPop palettes. But to be fair, I didn't buy all of these. Like some of these actually came in like mystery boxes, you know what I mean? So I didn't like buy all of these, but I think what I'm gonna do is because this video is probably already long enough as it is, I think I'm gonna like, lay out all of my color palettes instead of like i think what i'm gonna do is i think i'm gonna lay out all of my color pop palettes all at like one time so i can honestly look through them myself because i feel like if i go through 128 color pop palettes this video is probably gonna be like two hours if not longer and it's already like six o'clock in the evening and i have been doing this now for a good four and a half almost five hours i didn't realize how much freaking should i have and i'm not even done i haven't even touched my glam light drawers or anything like that and this is just so I'm gonna lay everything out and then we're gonna show you guys, I'm gonna lay everything out, then I'm gonna show you guys what everything looks like. And then I'm gonna kind of go from there. I've been a collector of ColourPop for so long, I've never decluttered palettes. That's why I also have so many, but I'll be back. All right guys, so here is all 128 ColourPop palettes. Like, oh my gosh, y'all, this took me forever ever to sit here and unbox them because I always save the sleeves. I just, I can't help it. I just always do. So to lay this all out, here we have all 128 ColourPop palettes. Now this is going to make it really easy for me though, because there are some palettes that I've already seen that I definitely do want to declutter. Um, like I said, I got some of these in PR boxes. I got some of these in mystery boxes. And then a lot of these I actually just did pay for myself. Like all the, like the nine pan palettes that you guys will see, I paid for myself along with these big palettes right over here. But oh my God, y'all, this is insane. Look at this right here. This is truly freaking insane. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. And now I gotta go through these, reorganize them. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I end up decluttering and what I end up keeping. I'm not gonna go over every single individual one because that's just gonna take way too long. But this is all 128 ColourPop palettes. You guys can see a lot of them actually do look alike when you actually look at them like from a distance. You can definitely see how they look alike, but oh my gosh, y'all, this is crazy. 
Wow. All right, guys, so there is the ColourPop declutter pile. This is what we have right here. And right here, I did keep 103 ColourPop palettes, but I did declutter 25. And the reason why it adds up mostly is because I wanted to keep the hor horoscope collection. But yeah, let's go ahead and continue. But I'm very proud of myself. I've never gotten rid of a ColourPop palette before, and this is my first time. So I'm very proud of myself. So this is my Glam Light makeup drawer right here. As you guys can see, I love Glam Light with all my heart, but it's just so hard to store these palettes because it's such unique packaging. So I'm just gonna quickly try to organize this really fast to see if I can make it look better. Also to count how many palettes are in here as well because I never think I never count these in my collection, but here's my Glam Light drawer. Let me just quickly organize this. So here's all of my Glam Light Cosmetics palettes. I pretty much have a review on every single one of these palettes. And I also did a ranking of these palettes last year. If you guys wanna see an updated ranking video, please let me know in the comments below. But this is literally all of my my glam light palettes you guys see here all laid out so nice and pretty i believe i counted i think there's 40 glam light palettes i believe i own every single one i think i'm missing like one palette from the very beginning when they first created palettes i think i'm just missing just the one but than that i literally have every single glam light palette because you guys know that i absolutely love glam light and i save all of the packaging so here's just all the palettes. I'm not decluttering any Glam Light palette. I don't think I will ever declutter a Glam Light palette because they're absolutely one of my favorite, favorite, favorite brands. And I'm truly obsessed with them. And I just can never see myself parting from them. So I just want to show you guys what my Glam Light palettes look like so you guys had an idea of Glam Light and my love for them. And you guys can use code LED, save 15% off when shopping with them because, well, they're just amazing. Okay, so this is how my Glam Light drawer looks like now. So definitely a little bit more organized. Um, as you guys can see, though, she's still, like, pretty full. Um, I do have over 40 Glam Light palettes. I pretty much have every single palette they have ever created. I think mine is, like, one, like, from the very beginning. But I literally have every single one. You guys know that this is my absolute favorite, favorite brand in the entire world. And if I ever had a collaboration with them, oh, my God, it would be the best day in the entire world. But this is how my drawer is looking. I'm not decluttering anything. I don't know if I'll ever declutter Glam my palette but i just want to show you guys all the glam my palettes that i do have there are 40 of them and i know that they're just going to grow even bigger and better because they have i think four halloween collections coming out this year like i know that in september they have the ghost face collection like their scream collection i believe they're doing a jason collection a you know freddy krueger collection and probably a michael myers collection so stay tuned guys it's going to be a very very busy halloween season with them and i'm so excited Okay, so here's my everyday makeup drawer. So up first, we do have my Tati Beauty. I'm not getting rid of any of these palettes, just so you guys know, but I do want to show you guys what they look like. As you can see, she was very, very well loved. Oh, such a beautiful, beautiful palette. I wish that this was still a thing. I wish Tati Beauty was still around, but unfortunately, she's no longer around, and that um, is sad. But yes, I still love this palette. We have the Laura Lee Los Angeles Whimsical Nude Palette. We have this like Laura Lee Empty Magnetic Palette, but I also put like Teresa's collab that she did with Lethal in here as well because I didn't know what else to do with it, but this is like a little like Laura Lee Palette. We have the Nudie Batootie Volume 2 Palette. I still love this palette. We have the OG Cat's Pajamas Palette. This was the first palette I ever bought myself. Very first one. I just never did a review on it, but oh my gosh, I'll always cherish this. We have the Candy Sky Palette. This is the Laura Lee, the Laura Lee Los Angeles and Erin collab. Like this is so freaking cute. We have the Nudie Batuti Palette. This is the second palette Laura ever created, and it's still so cute. Party Animal and Boss Babe. The only thing I'm missing is actually the Slay Ride Palette, but these are adorable. And we can't, and we can't forget the Full Fantasy. This is a collaboration with Lunar Beauty in Laura Lee Los Angeles. Okay guys, then right here we do have all of my Lunar Beauty palettes. You guys know that Lunar Beauty is again one of my favorite brands. I would never discontinue any, I would never get rid of any Lunar Beauty products. There's the first Lunar Beauty Life is a Drag palette. Then we have the Lunar Beauty Moon Spell Volume 2, Volume 1, Strawberry Dreams, Greek Goddess. We have New Prism, Eternal Eclipse, my very first PR I ever got, which is the facelift palette, followed by the Avon Calendar palette. So here are all my Lunar Beauty palettes right here. Then we do have the Jaclyn Cosmetics palette. This is like a, I think just a strawberry palette or just called Jaclyn, but we have this. And we do have the Jaclyn Dear Mom palette right here. This is another one of Jaclyn Cosmetics palettes. 
All right, guys. So those are all my palettes. Now I'm going to show you guys what I kept and then what I decluttered because I didn't realize I didn't show you what I decluttered from my ColourPop stuff. So we're going to get to that in a minute, but this is everything I kept. So I officially have one empty drawer, which makes me so excited. This drawer in here, this is all of my Odin Eye Cosmetics palette drawer right here, which I really, really love this drawer. Then you move over here, we're going to have all of my Nomad Cosmetics, my Game Beauty and Alter Ego, and my Endangered Cosmetics. So this is like my indie brand drawer right here. This is a mix of like drugstore and indie brands. So you're going to have like NYX, you're going to have Pure, you're going to have my Fantasy Cosmetica, BH Cosmetics, ELF, Revolu Makeup Revolution, Juvia's Place, Artitude, and Uma Beauty kind of found in here. Over here is my Halloween drawer. I love my Halloween drawer. I hope that we can expand this. And if we do expand this, it will move into here. And then this will go up into here. And all that's in here is just kind of like my smaller palettes. So we just kind of have a mix of Ofra. We have Colored colored Rain Cosmetics. We have Florasis, Give Me Glow, and Chaotic, and Catrice. Down over here, we do have my Melt Cosmetics drawer along with my Dose of Colors and my ABH drawer right here. I actually will show you guys what I decluttered from Melt because I realized I didn't show you guys what I decluttered. Over here, we do have my ColourPop drawer. So here, I'm trying to keep it all kind of color-coded so you'll see kind of like in a color-coded area. I also kept all the little horoscopes and those are in order of the, hor the horoscope season. I absolutely love how this drawer looks. Along with this drawer, this is kind of more of like my bigger palettes from ColourPop. So that's another ColourPop drawer. ColourPop drawer. Over here, we do have my Blend Bunny Cosmetics and my Be Perfect and my Beauty Bay palettes along with my... Adept Cosmetics are found in here. This is like another indie drawer. Down here we have more of my high-end well-known brands like Urban Decay, Tarte, Danessa Myricks, and Too Faced and everything. And Makeup by Mario in here. Down here is my all-expensive drawer. We have all my Pat McGrath. I actually did decide to keep those Star Wars palettes from Pat McGrath. I realized I didn't really want to let them go. They're so rare. A subscriber sent them to me, and I was so unbelievably grateful for them. So I'm actually going to keep on, like, keep holding on to those. So I did that. I have all my Huda Beauty palettes right here, and all my Natasha Denona palettes are on this side. Pat McGrath and Huda Beauty. Down over here, we do have all of my Dominique Cosmetics, along with all of my Jaclyn X Morphe are going to be found right over there. And then down here is like my really expensive drawer. We have my Patrick Ta Beauty along with all of my Pete Louise and it definitely looks so much more organized. So overall, out of this entire palette collection, I kept over 360 palettes. Now that seems like a lot because it is. However, a hundred, I think it's like a hundred, a hundred or like a hundred and three is ColourPop alone, like ColourPop alone. So if you were to take away 100, I really only kept like 260, like 260 out of my entire eyeshadow palette collection, which I definitely think is a lot better than what it once was because I literally had 500 at the big start of the year. And now I'm down to 360 palettes. We're still a work in progress. Mind you guys, I did pay for 99% of these palettes. I'm very proud of my collection, so it's very hard to let things go. But let me show you guys what we're actually decluttering. So you guys saw that I kept over 360 palettes I'm so excited because we also decluttered 96 palettes. So here are all my palettes that I am decluttering. Everything you see right here is being completely decluttered. Now I have some things I want to talk to you guys about because some of these things you guys have not seen, but this is all of my palettes are being decluttered and there's 96 of them. So we're going to kind of start all over here in the corner. I am decluttering those two ABH palettes along with those Milk Makeup and Sunrise palettes. We have Sigma, we have Too Faced, we have Ace Beauté, we have Odin's Eye, we have some ColourPop. So I realized I never showed you guys my ColourPop. So I'm getting rid of the ColourPop Pretty Please, the ColourPop well, One and Done palette. We have Plush Like Me, we have Club Cabana, we have Hello Kitty. We have all these little small little mini palettes right here. These ones have not even really been used. Um, I did decide to declutter that Milk Makeup Beetle Juice palette because I know I'm not going to use it, so I did decide to declutter it. We have the Boing Voyage, we have a Pat McGrath, we have a Makeup Revolution, we have What's Up Beauty, we have two Game Beauties, we have some more Odin's Eye right there. We have another ColourPop palette, ColourPop palette, ColourPop palette, some of these. Down over here, I honestly did not even remember that I had these palettes. I went into my closet to go grab some candles and I saw these sitting here and I was like, oh shit, <laughs> declutter, didn't even think twice about it. This was actually gifted to me by a wonderful friend and I never even used this. This has never even been opened. We have the mini jawbreaker and then we have the two mini controversies from Shane Johnson and Jeffree Star. I think like, I think they're like two different ones. 
they are. They even look different. So this is like, I guess the new one they did that said to put that shade back, that green shade. So it looks like that. And then we have this one, the original one. So I am decluttering both of these. Um, I, I don't know where the rest of my Jeffree Star palettes are. I know I never got rid of them. I definitely want to, but I'm not gonna lie guys. I have absolutely no idea where they are. Like no idea. I would love to include them in today's video, but I can't find them. <laughs> so I'm like, what did I do with them? So yeah, when I find them, I will declutter them. And like I said, these are like in brand new condition. I had, did decide to declutter that um, Adept Cosmetic Palette because I just know I'm not going to use it. So I decluttered that. We have some more ColourPop palettes right there. We have some more ColourPop palettes, some more Odin's Eye. We have a Juvia's Place. We have two Ofra Cosmetics. Urban Decay, we have two Alter Ego palettes, some Urban Decay, some more Odin's Eye, a Lorac, the Millennial Pink, the Alter Ego. I did decide to get rid of the Electric Chip palette from Milk Makeup, so that's going to be gone. We have some more ColourPop palettes that I am decluttering right here. And I actually went back in my collection because when I, when I did my um, video, when I did my Natasha Denona, I realized that I had the Sunset palette and so I don't need the Aurora palette since I had that palette. So I did declutter that along with my two Catrice. We have the James Charles and we have the Icy. We have the Disney, some more Ofra and Odin's and some Milk Makeup and uh, yeah. And there's some more um, ColourPop and then I did declutter that one as well. So we have over 96 palettes right here, guys, that I did declutter. Like I said, I kept 360, but we did declutter 96. Mind you guys, I know that some people are gonna be like, oh my God, you're a hoarder. Guys, this is my job. This is my job to review makeup. So obviously I do collect makeup because it's my job. And I'm also very proud of my collection. I worked my ass off for everything you guys see right here and I'm very proud of it, but I'm also happy to declutter and pass these along to better homes so they can get better use than just sitting here. So that is what we're going to do. And I'll let you guys know whenever I do any sell anything on my Macari, you guys will know. So don't worry about asking about it because I will definitely let you guys know. But yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you guys liked my collection slash declutter video. I'm hoping to get rid of more in the future where it's kind of like an even balance where it's like I kept 200, but I decluttered 200. I want to have like a nice even balance, but I definitely feel like we did a good job today. Got rid of 96. I'm very proud of myself. So yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already, because I do post four to five videos every single week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channels, R for Life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful ventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful page members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. I truly do love and appreciate you guys. And to all of my viewers and subscribers, thank you guys so much for liking this video, thumbs down in this video subscribing or not subscribing either way i thoroughly do appreciate each and every single one of you i really hope you guys enjoy today's declutter and collection video so with that said guys that is it for today's video guys i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next one bye